I mean, when there's crab rave, you gotta go crab rave, right? Heck, the LP, you just go crab rave. All right, we got crab rave. There's Nico. All right, it's Kog'Maw. It's Kog'Maw. Heroic grab bag, maybe. Clear mind? Nah, it can't be clear mind. I'd be okay with cluttered mind, not clear mind though. You have my sword? Probably not. Big gains? Ah oh, man, it's gotta be heroic grab bag. It's gotta be heroic grab bag here. Just force the reroll. All right, so let's go this. We will. Play Malphite over the Shen. So we can hold snipers for right now. We'll play probably Steadfast Heart on Shogath. And since he's not in our final comp, if we end up losing this, then let's just. Yeah, no, I think we're going to win this one, though. But I was going to say, if we end up losing this, then we sell the Shen. But we can force... We, can, we should be able to force Kog'Maw reroll this game. Kog'Maw, Cho'Gath, Malphite, Caitlyn. Those are our three co Those are our three stars. Yeah, I just got another one of these, so... Come on. And honestly, like, I know that it's probably not going to do too well against the Crab, but I haven't seen a single comp that can. I've seen three star four costs that can beat the Crab. I've seen, you know what, I've seen like eight duelists beat the Crab, but that's eight duelists. You know, eight duelists requires a spatula. It should be able to beat the Crab, frankly. Alright, this guy's going Fortune. That's fine by me. This is the weakest that I'll ever be, so this is fine. But the way this goes is that you try to... You try to three-star as much as you can. Um, but really, like, the biggest priority is three-star Kog'Maw. Three-star Kog'Maw, maybe three-star Cho'Gath, since he has the Mythic buff. This is after the nerf, though. Says after the nerf. Never a dull moment. So we can play Shen with this. And then you just never level. Never level because you're trying to hit as many low cost units as possible. You don't necessarily need to win streak. Win streaking will actually end up negatively impacting you if you end up if you end up leveling. Because then you ruin your odds of finding low-cost champions. Cho'Gath needs to be two-starred, though. It's a little rough right now. Come on, Kog'Maw. Kha'Zix being on the Kog'Maw is actually kind of nice, because, Ka because Kha'Zix doesn't do all that much damage. Cool. Wind streaking into Carousel. Not necessarily my favorite. But you know what? We're saving HP, and that's, that, that's really, really valuable here. Ahmed, what's up, bud? Zoe with a tier. Only one tier on the Carousel. We're hoping four tiers. Hoping four tiers. We already naturaled into a tier, so I need to find one on the carousel, but this guy's gonna take it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Belt would be okay. So I guess I just take that. Yeah, let's just take the belt.
There's our Malphite, which will, I think, honestly, already be better than the Shen. Just because he ends up giving us that, uh, that 8 armor and MR, as well as activates Heavenly for more HP. And I think it's safe to say that we're going to want to just plop this belt on Cho'Gath. At least, if we don't 3-star him, then we'll at least have it on Tom Catch later. Shojin for Janna. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely knew that was coming. That's a tough fight. Janna just provides so much frontline. So much frontline, so much damage. Especially with the behemoth. It's this. Send the puddles. Yeah, I'm okay with this. I'll fish. Did we miss some puddles because it was bugging out? Hello? Can you not just stand still in the puddles that spawn underneath you? That's crazy. Okay, we did get gold. Cool. Let's see what we got. Ooh, a Tom Kench. Nice. Honestly? Ooh, a tear. Huge! That's awesome. Tier and money. And bard. No, I don't think I wanna I don't I don't think I want the bard yet. I don't think I want the bard yet. But we definitely want the blue buff. Blue buff is huge. Absolutely massive. Yeah, if we had bruisers. Like if we had easy bruisers, I would I would probably take the Tom Kench over over this Cho'Gath. But the Behemoth is I think super important for the resistances. Go Kogma, go. The Ethereal Blades is a little rough. Once I get Nashers, I think this guy's just gonna pop off. Nice. Only one loss when you're going a reroll comp is kind of nice. Kind of nice. Nice. Uh, no. Nice. Big upgrades. I could just three star my Kogma whenever I want. I'm not going to because I want to hit the rest, but. Or, you know what? I'm very far from hitting. Maybe I just three star my Kogma and move on. Maybe that's what it is. Just move on. Get some mythics in, you know? I think that is the play. Yeah, let's move on. The game's like, you sure? You want to do that? Okay, well. <laughs> the game's like, you sure you want to do that? I guess I won't. Guess I won't. Game said, are you sure about that? I guess I'm not. I guess I'm not sure about that. Okay. Now I'm very, very close to what I want. Three-starring the Cho'Gath, three-starring the Malphite. Both would be amazing things for me. Yeah. Okay, now I want a combat augment. Portable Forge wouldn't be bad. Harm Assist is pretty good. Salvage Bin, not so much. Know Your Enemy, also good. We don't have any damage amp. 
on this team, so Know Your Enemy actually has quite a bit of, of value. Epic Plus. I thought this got nerfed. I thought this got nerfed. Where is it? I thought it got nerfed. Behemoth Crest? Maybe, actually. No, I think it's Know Your Enemy. I want to deal extra. Oh, actually, we do have damage amp. It's Sniper. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. All right, well, there's there's my three-star everything. There's my three-star everything. Now we have a Lilia as well, so we can put that in next. This guy's playing Fortune. Hopefully he hasn't decided to start cashing out yet. Honestly, I think that I'm just too strong right now anyway. Well, that's how quickly it can happen. When the game's like, no, 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 you need to stay in this comp. Everything gets three-starred. <laughs> Everything gets three-starred. Uh, and honestly, I think it's honestly worth to just, like, put in the invoker. Right? No, it's not. What am I saying? What am I talking about? It's not worth to put in the invoker. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Dost thou be joking with me? That belt actually should have gone on Kogma. now that I'm thinking about it. Nashers would have been really good over here. But I think the HP actually saved me quite a bit in some of these fights. Kog'Maw rerolls so good, though. I love this comp. This is one of my favorite comps of the set. I think from this point, it's honestly like an easy third, at least. Now we want a belt or a tier. We want a belt or a tier. Belt, tier, sword, we don't have any swords on here. So belt or tier, belt or tier. Belts are on the higher cost units. I would prefer those. All right, cool, the tiers are gone anyway. Belcher tier, Belcher tier, Belcher tier. Take the Alune if you're gonna take one, please. Thank you. Cool. This guy want the Dragon Lord? Yeah, he did. <laughs> he did. He's going eight duelist with the uh, with the Diana. All right, so let's go Nashers. Nashers, big buff, big buff, big buff. Now, if I got like a Life Blade for this guy then it would probably be able to beat the crab, but I can't I can't beat the crab with what I got right now. It's very good, don't get me wrong, it's very good. But it's not crab worthy. It is not crab worthy. Sniper Morgana. Hey yo. Is this guy eight duelist yet? Six. Alright, this is gonna be this is gonna be a good testament to you know how it does, but these are all one. These are all one stars right now. These are like all one stars, and he's still beating me. Mm. Like that was way too close for those all being one stars. I need some kind of shred. I need Caitlyn to have like a, like a static shiv or something. But I've already used two tiers in in this comp and a bow. So, it's going to be a little tough to find them. Uh, so, I think that I just kind of sit back for literally just this round. For just this round. And then after Wolves, we'll level to, we'll level to 7. Get in the 5 Mythic. If we get Mythic Crest, Mythic Crest would be massive. Would be huge. Be a big fan of that. I wonder what this what this guy's building for. Who has these items? Who 
Is that Syndra? No. Who has those items? Morgana? Is Morgana, who's named Morgs, building Morgana? Alright, let's put the Lilia in. Then next round, we'll put the 5 Mythic in with the Tom Kench. Tried this comp with Lilia carry, she was insane. What, the Mythic? I mean, Mythic Lilia, yeah, of course. Like, if you just don't hit the Kog'Maw, the same items go on Lilia. So, like, you can, absolutely. I just, I like the Kog'Maw version a little bit more. Especially since I found the Heroic Grab Bag, it just kind of made sense. Just kind of made sense. The swords? The swords aren't exactly what I wanted, but the swords are what we got. That's fine. Alright, cool. Leveling her up is pretty good here. Now we go Mythic 5. Mythic 5 will go Gunblade on him. Do we just go... Ah, man. I mean, we probably keep the sword for, like, a Shoujin for Caitlyn or something. So we'll go, like, Sunfire on this guy. We'll go, like, Sunfire on that guy. That's it's not what you want to do. But I don't have any other burn, so it just kind of makes sense. Just kind of makes sense. This guy's ghostly and he has a sniper emblem. But this Kog'Ma should do infinite damage. Nice. 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 How much did he heal that fight? 1300? That's pretty good. Then the Cho'Gath. Everybody's kind of blocking the same amount in the front line. And you see how much tankier the, the Cho'Gath is? Golden Egg. Honestly, I'm super down for Golden Egg. I'm super down for Golden Egg. Unless I get a Mythic Crown, I'm going Golden Egg. Wait a second. Radiant Refactor, though. Radiant Refactor for Kog'Maw? Get a Life Blade? Nah, I'm, I'm going Golden Egg. <laughs> I gotta go Golden Egg. I gotta do it. Take the Golden Egg every time. It's, it's always gonna buff up your team in some way. So long as you can. Like, right now I'm in a strong spot, so I'm probably going to be weaker right now than the ones that, that took, like, Combat Augments. Alright, Call to Chaos here. Zeke's training dummy. 66 gold. Good for this guy. Any other calls to chaos? No. No more calls to chaos. The Ethereal Blade's Shen. I actually haven't seen this one in a little while. And, like, the Sunfire's fine on Cho'Gath. His spell wounds, but realistically, like, you, you can't depend on his spell. This is kind of how I feel about Ethereal Blade Shen. Ethereal Blade Shen is just so bad. Also, what's up with that true damage from Morgana? What does she have? What did she have? Did she have like a Morello or something and then it just did like infinite damage? What was that? This guy? Oh, more Morello Nomicon. I see. That did a bunch of true damage. 2300? If he had a tankier frontline, like if he had this Shen actually in the frontline, also that's a bad build for Shen. It's a really bad build for Shen, the, the Shoujin Ginsu's. I don't think I don't think you want to build the Shoujin on him. But plan is we're gonna be going nine. And on nine we're gonna put in Mythic Seven. This guy took his fortune and he cashed out. Is it worth? Did he did he actually get anything from it? I don't think he really got a whole lot from it, from what I'm seeing. His board is really weak. Yeah, because he has Tiny but Deadly, but he's still having issues with me. Hway would be massive, but that's a Hway, so it's going to get taken. Alright, so what's Mythic Emblem? Mythic Emblem is, uh... Is it? No, that's Faded. What's Mythic? 
What is mythic? Is it tier? Yeah, I think it's tier, actually. All right, so why don't we do the rod, I guess? And then realistically, we could just put like a gunblade on Lilia or Caitlyn if we if we wanted to. Yeah, probably. Do we just start ranking up our bard? Get him mythic? Get him uh, to... Or we could put in Arcanist. Could put in Arcanist. Let's put in Arcanist. Arcanist's pretty good. Normally you'd want to play like Alawi for the Arcanist. Because then that activates Ghostly as well as Warden when you have your Nautilus in. I don't think I want to slam these items, though. I kind of want to use these these uh, components for other things. And I don't think it's really, like, saving my team any, any HP by slamming a gunblade. Nice. Alright, my my golden egg is, is, is going to be cashing out soon. This guy is probably the only one that's going to beat me. Three star Alawi. I want this guy to, to die. If this guy can die, then we're good. If that guy can die, we're good. And honestly, I think it's go the opposite direction. Do something more along these lines. All right, here's the here's the eight duelist. Like I said, this is the guy that 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 I was worried about. What is this Shen build? It's Ethereal Blades as the hero augment. It's the hero augment. He wanted to go it, but it's it's not a very good build on him. Oh, kill the Aurelia! Kill the Aurelia! I think I'm good now. Maybe. Oh no, Diana does, does too much damage. But that Aurelia, that one star Aurelia. Imagine when she is two star. That's gonna be that's gonna be tough to deal with. That's gonna be real tough to deal with. I just need two more wins and then I cash out my golden egg. Did that guy... No, the guy with the Shen has not died yet. Lots of component anvils. Lots of component anvils. Another one of these? Okay, so I hold the tier. For sure I hold the tier, just in case. But maybe I take more tiers? No, no, no. I take that. Uh, I take this and... Yeah, all right, so what I do is I build... So I think I'm gonna build Lilia up here. I'm gonna do Shiv and Gunblade. And then if I don't get a spatula from my from, from my golden egg, then I just have an Archangels, which is still amazing. So I gotta roll for my, for my Mythic 7 next round. I gotta roll for my Mythic 7 next round. The Crab Rave was uh, getting me a little bit dizzy. But yeah, this shred should be so much better now. That's a better Arcanist. Where's my dude? Hello? Really? <sighs> Didn't get either of my other mythics. Alright, well, either way, I'm going to be cashing out this turn, so... Either way.
Oh, I got a loot orb. Cool. Did I get another one? I did. Oh my god, Lissandra. Like, I'm only, I'm only gonna be playing her for like one round. And she's already cashed out. Alright. What are we looking for from this egg? What are we hoping for? Lots of gold. Uh, Rascal's gloves and a TG. Alright. Cool. Can I hit the Nautilus? Cool. Exactly what I wanted. And then an Alawi. Nice. Uh, actually, do we just Rascal's gloves this girl? I think we do. That seems really good. We just do that. And then she has 50. Hmm. We'll just Thieves Gloves the Tom. Thieves Gloves the Tom. We will do Archangels here, I guess. We got Attack Crown too, which is really good. This is the uh, this is the arc this is the duelist team by the way the one that I was worried about, no re no longer really a worry, because now we have Lilia too we have everything we need. Yeah, we can run the Rascal's gloves later, but for right now, the Alawis are back in the pool because that one guy died, and we have a bloodthirster random bloodthirster. There's a Huey, we can play Huey, but that is also even shroud. No, not really. Not really interested in that. Bloodthirster goes on... Who? I mean, I guess I take the way, right? Rascal's Gloves way. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, then I then I put in the Alawi instead. Oh, cool. Then I can probably two-star my way very easily. Right? 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 Yeah! Alright, so then we Rascal's Gloves Huey. And we take out Bard. Because Bard is useless here. Okay. Rascal's Gloves Huey. Great items, by the way. Fantastic items, Huey. I'm super proud of you. And then we just... Then we just stack up the... Uh, stack up this guy. Because why not? Tack Crown also does do a little bit, so I'll put that on my Malphite too. But a two-star Huey is a two-star Huey. It's already doing more damage than anybody else. <laughs> Level 10 over here, by the way. He's looking for a bunch of five costs. Mythic 7. I mean, honestly, like, with this team, I think it's looking like a first to me. Guess the outcome of your next fight? I mean... I mean... And we also might get a three-star Lilia here. I don't think it's contested. Is it? This guy had a Lilia at one point. He does have a Lilia. He's playing Sage. And he's still playing Janna with that build. Why are you playing Janna with that? It's a two-star Janna. Get rid of it, man. Get rid of it. Two star Huey over here might be a little bit problematic too. Once my Huey goes epic though. Oh my god, look at his build! Zenith Edge Baron's Gift. That's insanity. I should kill this guy with the with the with the Huey build this this uh, fight. Like look at this, look at this, look at this. BAM! And bam. Goodbye. There's a lot of HP in this lobby though. We're gonna we're about to fight the crab. We are about to fight the crab. I don't think we're gonna win this one. What was that? What was that for? Oh yeah, Timo. Right, right, right. All right, so do I do I go for the Lilia here? I can't actually. I don't have the time.
Are we good, actually? Oh my god, we're good. We're fine. What are you doing? They had to know what you look like. A crazy girl in a unicorn onesie? Okay. Got you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I think we go Shoujin and IE. Or actually, maybe it's Shoujin Adaptive, not Shoujin IE for this girl. Okay, cool. Maybe we go 10, try to hit more ways. Yeah, I think we just go 10, because we need to we need to build up as much power as possible. I know that we could go for the Lilia, but honestly, I kind of want to... Both of them are running Aurelia, right? Yeah, both of them are running Aurelia, so there is no chance in, in hitting Aurelia 3. Maybe it is 3-star Lilia. Nah, I think it's honestly just like go for like 3-star Huey. As long as this Huey gets really good items, which we're in stage 6, so we have a decent chance of getting good items. But I'm just going to I'm just going to chill here. Honestly, like I have so much value on my team. The Jack show is great. The Jack show is great. Fantastic even. I think both of them are running Wukong as well. Yeah, but look at that. Mythic 7 is able to beat Crab Rave when you have two Gunblades. You know? Looking like a first. Looking like this is just... Looking like I'm just rolling over them. <laughs> The Titans Vow Jack show. Is this the frontline Hui build? Is this the forbidden frontline Hui build? Honestly, I'm super down to try frontline Hui for literally just one round. Because he's going to get so many resistances. 80 armor and MR. Honestly, just do it. Just do it. Frontline Hui build with the Titans Vow. I mean, he cast a couple times, right? He didn't He didn't fully stack up, but he cast a couple times. Now I can write the best way to counter Crab? Yeah. This guy might actually surrender now. I think he might surrender. Story Weaver? He's not building Story Weaver. Uh, I just go for something like... Yeah, I just go for something like Red Buff. Behemoth wouldn't have been bad. Behemoth wouldn't have been bad. Alright, so let's go... Let's go 10. Buy the Aurelia so he can't hit. Do I just do this? Probably. Another Lilia. Red buff on her. Then we're good. Yeah, I think it's just random, random set in there. I could have actually, you know what I could have done? I could have done um, Wukong. If I had Wukong, then that would have been um, attack speed. But I don't think it matters. Like Mythic is still super strong, even on the B patch. Yeah, this is this is. I'm just running over him. I, I'm not even surprised if he's gonna surrender here. Yeah, okay, so we take out the set, we put in the Wukong, we have extra attack speed for everybody. He doesn't have enough money to go for it, so I might as well just roll. Okay. GG. GG.
GG. Three star Lilia for the tuber? Nah. Nah, the first is good enough for me. I'm gonna get into gold one with this and then maybe we'll be able to hit plat today. That egg gave me so much. GG. Alright, GG. Those of you watching on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, follow my Twitch for more, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.